There is simply no sporting event in the world quite like the Masters. Played at the same course and at the same time year after year, Augusta's aura continues to grow. Despite its history and many traditions, this golfing event remains a mystery for players, patrons and the odd sporting personality alike. It's pretty special, you know, just to be here and you know, seeing this amazing course and just the, the history and, and tradition behind this event is it's pretty special. It's something you know, I'll remember for the rest of my life. You look at the uh, the rough and it's not a rough, it's in you know, great condition, you know, just dream to have a, a round here one day. You may know the holes, the heroes and the former champions, but here are 10 things you may not know about the Masters. Ever wondered how to get the best seat in the house? Patrons flow through the gates at 8am to place their chairs around the 18th green. There are no grandstands on this infamous finishing hole, just fold-outs left throughout the day with nothing but common courtesy and a name card reserving a view of those dramatic Masters moments. At number nine, did you know that driving range is used only during Masters Week? Tiger Woods challenged Augusta National to build practice facilities befitting the best tournament in the world. The club obliged by acquiring 18 acres beneath the iconic water tower. Now there's a practice facility with its own observation stand, but more impressively a driving range split by pine trees at 235 yards so players can practice fading and drawing shots as required around Augusta National's famed fairways. Yet despite this, did you know the manufacturer's tour trucks are parked off-site across the busy Washington Road? Meaning if players want to fine-tune their grips, shafts and grooves, then it's a long walk from the range. We're either having players come over to us or we're going over to them and doing some work from time to time. But we have a street that you've got pretty much a traffic jam all day long on. We did a pedometer on our wrists not too long ago and we were doing probably between six and eight miles a day of walking. At number seven, did you know when there's an uneven number of golfers making the cut, the first golfer out plays with Augusta National's reigning club champ? Local Jeff Knox played the role of non-competing marker this year, teeing it up alongside Rory McIlroy, the 51-year-old course record holder pipping the golfing superstar by a shot. Did you know the green jacket is not just for the Masters champion? The most sought-after garment in golf is actually the dress code of Augusta National's members. When you win the Masters, you join their club. But from all these successful business people and dignitaries, the only green jacket wearing member who can speak on behalf of Augusta National is the chairman. Good morning, everyone. I'm Billy Payne, and welcome to the 78th playing of the Masters. At number five, did you know the drinks of choice for those sweltering in the Georgian sun are called Arnold Palmer's and Azalea's? The brightly coloured on-course cocktail is made of pink lemonade and a generous dash of vodka. While the other popular thirst quencher, named after Arnold Palmer himself, is a mix of iced tea and lemonade. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. And did you know there's more to downing these drinks than just keeping cool? Well, the collectible cups make for reusable memorabilia. All around Augusta National, patrons salvage stacks of souvenirs to use in the man cave, holiday home, or even bar. I've got a pub at home, and uh, there's absolutely no way that I'm ever serving anyone a beverage outside of a Masters Cup ever again. And number three, did you know phones are prohibited at Augusta National and cameras can only be used on course during practice days? This is a sporting event for the purists. And it doesn't matter if you're patron or professional, you have to learn to leave your phone at home. We can't have cell phones here, so I, I, normally at a normal tournament you'd be looking at your phone. So, I mean, <laughs> I'm respecting the rule and i got to make sure that I'm not caught with a phone. There's a lot of etiquette that, that goes with you know, being here at the Masters. It's tough, you had to leave my phone, so uh, yeah, no social media on the grounds, but uh, you know, i got to uh, make here, you know, taking plenty of photos. If you want a happy snap to show you were at the Masters, then you need to be patient. Did you know the queues to get an official photo beside the flower bed at Founders Circle can last 45 minutes to an hour? 
All right. You know, our wait was about 35 minutes. Yeah, probably about not bad at all. And the number one thing you may not know about the Masters is just how elevated the course is. Television flattens these fairways. The eighth hole climbs into the sky by 61 feet. The tenth slopes away steeply by 116 feet. And the sixth tee box is so elevated that fans can sit beneath it to watch the action. If you took an average member in New Zealand at a club and said, come and play this golf course tomorrow, when they finish tomorrow morning, they'll be full of aches and pains in your back, in your legs. It's up, it's down, it's sideways, it's this way. I mean, it is really a task walking around here. Very, very difficult. Plus, if I took a member who, let's say, who is a 10 handicap, or let's take a nine, a single figure handicap, and I put the ball on the green, and I placed the hole in a certain place, and said, now you putt. The best they do is 18 three putts. Average. So that gives you an idea how good these people are. It doesn't matter if you've played Augusta National a record 52 occasions or you're experiencing the Masters for the first time. You've never really seen it all. Catch Holland Golf World, Thursdays and Saturdays.